My name is Jamie Mitchell and I would say I'm a professional waterman. How did I become a professional waterman? I would say the reason I got here is from asthma. About five years old, I was diagnosed with like a pretty strong asthma. And the doctors were like, hey, um, I think that the best thing for you would be to learn how to swim, to start swimming, doing sport. Uh, I got put into the Nipper program, which is like a junior lifeguard style program. And that basically started the love affair of the ocean for me. My whole life, I felt like there was just steps to getting to the next level. You heard about this race in Molokai and, and, and to Oahu in Hawaii, and I um, was like, wow, this um, seems like it would be a pretty cool you know, challenge. If you want to win and you want to be real competitive, it takes a lot of training. It's just like any professional athlete. You know, I was training two to three times a day, six days a week. You know, swim three to four miles, three or four times a week. I'd paddle up to you know, 50, 60 miles a week in volume. And then uh, you know, add a couple of gym sessions in there and a couple of running sessions and your plate's pretty full. Like anything, having the best paddleboard, you know, having the best board shorts, having the best eyewear, it all helps and I've been lucky enough to have the best eyewear for the whole 10 years I won. And, um, and, we, and it was cool too, because I was able to uh, you know, help evolve the brand and the, and the eyewear with um, feedback from Paling Molokai, because it's not easy to get sunglasses that can not fog up and that you don't have to take off your head for five hours when you're paddling across 32 miles in like, you know, 90 degree heat. So it's been a fun ride. It's funny, because I still, people see me and they, it's, Think they go, hey, you're the paddle guy, you know, and um, which I am, I, <laughs> you know, guilty as charged. But um, I always enjoyed the challenge of being out in the biggest surf I could find. It's bigger than last night. It's offshore. Pumping. <laughs> wow. Just worked my way up like I did paddling. Started surfing Sunset. Started surfing Waimea when it was big. Started surfing the outer reefs and then you know, started chasing swells. That's when it got serious. When I decided, I'm like, hey, I want to go to Mavericks, I want to go to Jaws, I want to go to Portugal, I want to like, really chase these waves. That's when, for me, everything shifted. I love what I do and I want to show them, I show my family and show my girls that, you know, even though it might be dangerous, this is my passion, this is what I love and you can't like be scared of pursuing your dreams even if they, even if it's a dangerous thing, you know, you gotta, it just means that you gotta be more prepared and um, take it more seriously. To literally be living here, you know, have a family, be living on the North Shore, um, you know, surfing every day here and just living this lifestyle, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's a real dream come true.